Hi there, everyone. I'm Gabriel, and it's Wednesday, June 7th, 2006. Well, two months, two weeks, and four days remain until the third Penny Arcade Expo, and already fans of Nerdcore in all forms are preparing for a weekend of immersion in their favorite genre. Rest assured that we'll be there, and if security lets us actually record there, perhaps even in front of a musician unaware of our presence, then we'll be doing that as well. But speaking of PAX, perennial performer and Penny Arcade rapper Lori at MC Frontalot posted on his webpage earlier this year that he'd be looking forward to collaborating with none other than Broken English, opposing as people, though perhaps best known for his work with Optimus Rhyme. When asked, the front said that he's still looking forward to making it happen, though the project has slipped to the back burner in the past few months. In the same post on his site, he mentioned another potential collaboration with Jesse Dangerously of Nova Scotia. Let's hope that we can hear one or the other of those soon. Last month, English Imposing His People's skills were on display, along with the Goondocks and Optimus Rhyme, in a follow-up to their St. Patrick's Day show at Toast in Ballard. The Goondocks have released the video for First and Yesler on their site, www.goondocksmusic.com. Perhaps in honor of it, we'll do an update from there in the coming months. We'll see. At the show, Optimus announced that their new CD will be out this month, complete with a CD release party at Chop Suey on July 7th, expected to be free of charge. That's right, at Chop Suey free of charge. If you're not from around here, you won't get why that's a big deal, but trust me, it is. In other news, the futuristic sex robots have submitted a song for the Snakes on a Plane soundtrack and made it to the final cut. For those not in the know, their website is www.futuristicsexrobots.com, and you should be able to find your way to the site easy enough from there. Keep your fingers crossed, because this may be the first nerdcore track on a mainstream movie soundtrack ever. And finally, local otaku and musician Ultra Klystron has removed his songs from MySpace, citing the fact that MySpace is ultimately owned by News Corp, best known for employing Tony, the Kyoto Treaty is a fraud, Snow, Sean, it doesn't say anywhere in the Constitution, this idea of the separation of church and state, Hannity, and of course, Bill, I just wish Katrina had only hit the United Nations building, O'Reilly. That's right, MySpace and Vox are subsidiaries of the same corporation. His music is still available, though, at his website, www.carlrolson.com. That's Carl with a K, O-L-S-O-N. Go on and give it a listen. It might be a little out of your way, but it does feel good to support some music without a cent ending up in Rupert Murdoch's pocket. Trust me. That's all we have for now. Rest assured that when we get more news, we'll pass it on to you all. Again, I'm Gabriel, and thanks for watching.